Yo, 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 everybody, my name is Toxic You, bringing you a budget PC build. This PC build is $350. Expect to run all the lower end titles at around 30 FPS at 720p. So, for the processor, I have the Intel Pentium G3258. Now this processor is has a base clock of 3.2 GHz, it is a dual core processor and this is going to be great for running your lower end titles at the 30fps and 720p. Now for the motherboard I have the MSI H81M-P33 Micro ATX board. This board supports LGA 1150 so you're going to be able to upgrade to maybe an i5 or an i7 down the road if you want to look for that better performance. Now for the RAM I have Kingston 4GB DDR3600 memory. Now I wanted to go for 8GB since now all games are starting to utilize 8GB but 4GB should be fine for those lower end titles and this is gonna run you twenty five dollars as of right now alright for the hard drive I have the Seagate Barracuda one terabyte hard drive I picked this hard drive because of its price and it has great reviews you can go on almost any website and see that it has great reviews for it it's only forty eight dollars as of right now and storage has really gone down in price you can see that SSDs have gone down majorly in price. You can get a hundred and twenty-eight gigabyte SSD for fifty dollars now. That's pretty good. For my GPU, I have the Sapphire Radeon R7 260X. Now this card has two gigabytes of VRAM. It's only a hundred dollars right now, as you can see. It does have a fan, does not support SLI, it does support crossfire. 6.97 inches in length, 177 millimeters, and this is a Radeon R7 260X chipset. And this is made by Sapphire. Sapphire makes great cards. I have a Sapphire right now, and it just keeps pushing and pushing, and never dies down. All right, for the case, I have the AZA Sirius ATX Mid Tower case. I chose this case because it's only thirty dollars. In this case, it's black. And it does have front panel USB 3.0 ports. Ports. When I was looking for a case for my PC build, I always saw these great price cases out at around $30 and $40, but I could never get USB 3.0 on the front. And this is surely a luxury to have USB 3.0 on the front. All right. And for the power supply, I have the EVGA 500 watt 80 plus certified ATX power supply. This power supply is 500 watts. It is not modular, but for a power supply around $30 and 500 watts, you're not really going to be looking for modular. I was looking for something that would fit the budget build. It has 80 plus efficiency certification, and this will complete my $350 gaming budget build. And this budget build overall, as of right now, June the 15th, 2015, it is only $340. It has been Toxic You here today bringing you a budget PC build.